Questions? Anybody? Questions? Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, you got to stand first, and then I'll get you. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Give your endorsement. Do they just give you those things for free? <laughs> That's a tough question. <laughs> um, yeah, I can answer that straight up. Uh, they do. Um, you deserve it, though, by the way. Oh, <laughs> thank you. And, and I think, you know, it's a, it's a good question because when musicians are up and coming, they're like, one of the big questions is, how do I get an endorsement deal? How do I get endorsed? How do I get endorsed? And it's a very tough question to answer because it's not one of those things that you can have on your list of priorities and actively go out and get. You have to focus on every other aspect of your career. Things that you can actually control because at the end of the day you can't control whether you get guitars for free or not. All you can do is make sure that people know about your band. Get out there, book shows, try and get an online following, try and get people to come out to your shows, try and get it so promoters know who you are and promoters know reps at guitar stores. They know who you are and then people at guitar stores will maybe get in contact with somebody who works for one of these companies. There's so many steps to it is what I'm trying to say. And, um, and for me, it took me a very long time to start to get instruments in, in that fashion. But, you know, it's, uh, it's just something you really had to put in the back of your mind as you're, as you're up and coming. It's like, it could happen, it couldn't happen. I actually know some very big artists who, who don't get guitars for free because it's really at the discretion of a lot of these companies. Um, these companies know that we're a guitar nerds band, you know what I mean? Like, we're guitar nerds. Uh, and our fans are also musicians. That's a beautiful thing. And they know that there's a sort of synergy at work when, you know, when they see us talking about our guitars with a lot of passion and people coming right back at us with questions about our guitars and our gear. It's like it's a great thing and it's a rare thing. And that's why they do that. It's sort of an, inve an investment on the company's part to give someone a free guitar. Um, because these companies, while they do have a lot of money, they're, they're not in the business of giving away free stuff. There has to be some sort of return on it. And the return is me doing what I'm doing right now. It's here talking about you guys, sort of spreading knowledge about the brand, about specs, not even about these guitars, but just talking about uh, talking about gear in general. So that's kind of the return that I'm referring to. Yeah. So you had a question? Yeah, so what does it feel like to be able to you know, get up and be doing something that obviously you love and that you're great at, but you know, that this is what you get to do and that you've made it and that you've... Oh, well. Thank you, I appreciate that. The concept of making it, though, is so, so, so... Uh, oh, sorry, yeah. not, not even just um, yeah. in the sense that you have a following and everything, but that you've had the... Uh, like, even if you had the same ability as you did now, but without the following, like, to, to be able to play the way you do and write the way you do. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, very, I'm very thankful for that. Like, that's, that's the one thing that I wake up I wake up to every morning and I go to bed just grateful. Yeah. The fact that I get to write music and do things that... I, you know, I have this really intense passion about, and that happens to be shared by other people. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, that's all I really want. You know, if I can make a little bit of money to buy a sandwich every now and then, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, no, it's 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 great. I'm, I'm thankful to be able to do this. It's a dream come true. Really. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I was just wondering if you have a um, endorsement with Fractal or any other. Companies? We do. Yeah. So it, with us, it's guitars, amps, which we don't use amps, we use these uh, uh, Fractal Audio Axe Effects is basically amp simulators, effects processors. We don't travel with amps, which is awesome, because they weigh a lot, and I'm not a strong guy. Um, so we use these things racked up, as you can see, it's this periphery SR, stage right. This is the exact unit that gets put on stage right, so for those of you who come to the show, you'll see this later. Uh, this is our rig, it fits in a suitcase. Can we get a photo with the layout? Yeah, yeah, actually, I wanted to mention... Uh, actually, what time is it? I have to get back for sound check soon, but um, before I go, before I get out of here, I want to leave these guitars here, uh, and I can like sign stuff. You guys take pictures, whatever. Chat. You guys have more questions. We can chat for a little bit. Um, but also, I want to leave the guitars here and let you guys sort of pick up the guitars and feel them, play around with them if you guys want to. Shotgun first, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. That's why this is the best seat in the house. Um, but, um, but yeah, we do have a fractal audio endorsements. We have Diodario. We all use our strings. It's all across the board. I mean, when you really think about how many sort of moving parts there are when it comes to one's rig, and when you're playing live, cables, man, it's just, you got to all have what you like, you know? So, yeah. Um, so recently I've been watching a lot of creative live videos, especially okay. from Adam and Matt, from yeah, Matt yeah. Um, as well as your manager. Uh -huh. um, X-Manager. X-Manager. Oi. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, X Men. Okay, so did things just not work out? Long story short. Okay, yeah. yeah. Fair short. enough. Have you ever thought about doing a course on that website? Because, it's, like, from all the information that I've seen off of that, it's been yeah. pretty, pretty insane. Yeah, I like the creative live stuff. Mm -hmm. I think Matt and Ollie's thing is really cool. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of really guitar tutorials, and at the end of the day, I'm not like an engineer. Mm -hmm. I'm just a guitar player. Mm -hmm. And uh, if there's ever demand for it, sure. I, I do. I do a thing for Guitar World now, like a column. Oh, you yeah. do. Um, yeah, I do like a monthly thing where I just sort of break down uh, parts that people ask about. So okay. I don't know. I want to do some sort of regular content thing uh, where I can teach, but uh, I haven't found it yet. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I saw you. Uh, where's whose hand? You were up first. Yeah. And I'll get you. No, um, I noticed with your, when you were playing Mac Taylor's Stroy, when you are doing the like toes and type thumb tapping thing, yeah. where were you hiding your pick then? Because I noticed it just yeah. came out of nowhere. Right there. Right oh, cool. there. I did. Yeah, right yeah. there. Okay. So with that, I can still do this. Um. So, this is what it sounds like. Yeah, yeah, right up here. So makes it really easy to switch back and forth. That's the only part in any of our songs that features t uh, okay. like slapping. So check that out. You hear how that was like choke, choking off a little bit? We have three gain settings for our main rhythm channel. So what you what you guys have been hearing me play on for the past uh, hour is our main rhythm channel. That's our, what we call our loosest, where the noise gate is at its loosest setting. This is a little bit tighter. So hear that? How does this, the silence hit? Um, we use that for a lot of parts. Uh, what's a good, like, song Light, for example. You know, it cuts off really quickly. And then this is our uber tight patch. And you can barely play anything on this. Um, that's for, like... Like Ragnarok or something. Wasn't Chuck using three gates on the original Proof Free album? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's super choked off. Like, that's yeah. not an appealing tone to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a cool sounding tone, but if used in the right place, it's really awesome. When you have three guitar players, oh, and then a roaring bass tone between it all. Oh, it's, it's satisfying. Just not satisfying to play. Um, but yeah, I can take one more question, and unfortunately, I gotta end up going. So, yeah. I'm sorry. sorry. No, that's okay. well, two quick ones. We could do both of you. I feel okay. bad. Okay. I was gonna say, just with the three, going about the three guitar thing, uh -huh. do you guys ever sort of come to sort of uh, problems with having sort of three guitars? And yeah. Is there any times where you sort of like particularly find it's difficult to occupy certain frequencies or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, totally. But again, it's just all communicating. Mm -hmm. Like, it's all communicating with each other. We get into things where it comes to, should we use Mark's part, should we use Misha's part or Jake's part, whatever. There's a lot of dialogue, and sometimes it can get heated, but at the end of the day, we just all talk about it, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and EQ is a very big thing, because yeah. a lot of bands have three guitar players, but they don't know how to use them in terms of sort of how you come across sonically. So if you're clashing with the cymbals or if you're clashing with the bass tone, you got to know that. And um, with us, we're very, very specific about how we're dialed in front of house. I guess it means like sort of in relation to the big chords and stuff as well. Oh, yeah. Really, I did the, the yeah, 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 yeah. Well, when we divide our parts, for instance, like me and Misha will get a lot of the <laughs> sort of rhythmic chugging, and then Jake will do a lot of the, like the notier ambient yep. lead lines that go over it. He's panned down the center, mm -hmm. I'm panned down the right side, and Misha's panned on the left. So Jake really gets a lot of the sort of lead parts that anchor the music. Um, yeah. So one more quick question. Mine's really quick. Sure, Can sure. you please make more bias effects tones? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Since you asked. Since you asked. Can you check those up too? What's that? Can you check the X effects tones up on the X tones too? Oh yeah, I haven't done that yet, have I? Are you on quantum? Like no, I have not. I have not upgraded because when you upgrade, it ruins. Yeah, you change the tones, yeah. yeah, and I don't want that. <laughs> not quite yet. It's a new Can you make it louder as well, please? What's that? Can you turn it up? Like make it louder. Make make what louder? Louder. Everything. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I do that, I got to re sound check everything. Well, I'm actually done now. But actually, it's it's 104. I have time. I can do one more song if you guys want. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here's song "Crawl Graveless."
Thank you guys so much for coming, man. Thank, Thank you. you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.